Welcome everyone. Today we have a Delta Underdog game, and we started the game with Tusk and Punch, and we decided to go six warriors right away. <laughs> Just seeing those, we'll make six warrior work. I'll go through with you guys as well. I'm the only one with a losing streak. Perfect. Next up says, did you ever try the Masuda method of hatching shinies? You mean we well, were talking about Pokemon before, so you mean getting a foreign, getting a foreign one, and also with different toolets and a foreign Pokemon from like a different like mix to go for shiny ones. I've heard of it, never tried it myself to be honest. <laughs> Cause at the time I was like, I'm just gonna try to catch one. No, I never caught one. <laughs> and that's why I stopped. <laughs> but yeah, I think those methods, you know, a few thousands after I try you you find them. Make the odds like wild of five hundred eighty. Oh, that's not bad actually. Lovely, lovely. I tried Tintin. Not any Rainbow or like Luden Pokemon, unfortunately. Join the Catrine Torch, I know, except I stopped after a while. I was like, I'm not getting one. So you have to find the same one over and over, right? Warriors. Because we are many warriors and we have lots of armors to come, let's go with Heal for everyone. Yeah. Now, with Warriors, it's a great one if you can combine them with something cheap. Here, we're going for the Chores, the Savages, and the Scaled. Perfect. I'm gonna go for the hardness. I prefer the Shadow Demon over the draw. And I'm gonna buy the draw as well, but I don't need it. Yeah, my hockey's broken, that's why we're kind of clicking. I'll definitely get in the mana. I'm still going for the losing streak. Oh, my W works. My E doesn't work. Hey, if my W works, I can use WSR. Hey, we smart. So, I do want this Pudge. In order to get a Pudge, I'm gonna lose X. Lose the Shadow Demon. Get a patch. I'll get the Shadow Demon later. So I'm having trouble with the hockey set at the moment. So W works. E does not work. I don't want to test E out on my units. E does not work. R does not work for some reason here. Not sure why though. It's okay. I'm used to clicking. Any news? Uh, 1.0 release? Not at the moment. You know, so. Basically, still the same news information as you guys as well. You know, end of February, the game's going to be released fully, and there's going to be PvE, there's going to be lots of more content. Really hoping for that, and it's going to be a rotation of units. It's actually a pretty good word startup. And yeah, just one thing I was going to share with you guys. It's the strength of the Shadow Thing. So Shadow Thing here, if we don't get Witch Doctor, we can get Shadow Thing as one of my Warlocks. So Veno and Shadow Thing are actually pretty solid. Because Warriors are mostly melee units, you need to range attack. Range attack in the form of Veno is very cheap. Shadow Thing is a mediocre one, but he gives lots of healing, lots of AoE. So, likely I'll try to use him. At least for the mid-game, for the six Warriors. So now I'm looking at level 8 with two Warlocks already. To go to further with this, we can pick up Witch Doctor, we can pick up the Troll Warlord, and then later we can pick up the Disruptor as well, if we want. So we get four Warlocks, six Warriors. Which will be interesting. We can do some Vano if we're doing the scout as well. There you go. That's a Warrior. My journey continues. What the downside is. You know what the downside is. I have no money. <laughs> I'm too poor, guys. Now, shall we try to get lucky with a kill? We will try to get lucky. So basically, I have three units now. I know they should be weak enough. Oh, I might lose. I might win against him. Oh gosh, please let me lose. <laughs> My goal is to lose here. Don't be like this. You trust OP. I know it. It's trust OP. The kill task? Yes, kill task. You did good work. <laughs> trust OP. My goal is to kill some units. I didn't know they were this weak. I'll kill two. Perfect. <laughs> hey there, Yog. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> Russia is with you. Welcome, welcome, my friend. My Russian friends, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Up okay, here, I'm trying to lose, and people are waking up at my hub one against them. That's not good. Perfect. One well, tingle now. I need them to be stronger. <laughs> I'm hoping they're stronger. Well, come on, come guys. I should be able to lose, right? I lost the first time, and then leveling up, so I should be able to lose again. I'm not gonna change. You must 
Yeah, I should use. That is great, and it's great. Yeah. Looking for six warriors and four warlocks. But first we get, you know, two warlocks and six warriors. Punch this one, Tusk. Nah, we won't care anything here. Shadow Demon has 500 damage. Theresa has... Oh, we didn't do it. That's for the warriors. If I'm going for six, well, ideally I want the troll a lot. I want conquer. And everything else can be a mix. Huh. Well. Not gonna need the blink or take the champ out. Blink's okay, but you know. Not anymore. Not as frequent. This would be interesting. Uh, I already have the patch ready. I want some gold, so I'm gonna lose the. I know it's a little painful, but I do want the tw twenty gold here. I want to keep the shadow thing. If I didn't keep the shadow thing, I would have much more gold. We won't lose. So have you tried to get heartless and demons? Yes, I have, my friend. If you see my demon build on YouTube, there's two demon guides, and both of them use heartless. Not awfully a lot, at least two of them, which is not bad. Don't need that though. I do want Tusk, I want Wushaka. Yeah, likely I try to lose one or two more runs, then my HP will be close to 65. No, that's when I try to stop. Try this way. Patch tank. Six Heartless will be worth it. Uh, in most cases, it might not be, but there are some cases it might be worth it. Hmm. I guess I will shock there. And shot the shadow demon for gold. I don't think I need a three-step task, right? Ah, oh, I can keep the task. Why am I sending them for gold is I know I'll be leveling up quickly for my units. And if that's the case, it will be the best for me to get as much income as I can. Here I might lose, which is good. I want to lose it. Are we actually losing? I'm not sure. Damn, I'm actually not sure here. Honey was a good task, that's good. I want to lose. <laughs> Damn, this is a real man fight. <laughs> Warrior fight. I think we won. Oh boy. Honey, punch him hard. We punched him in the body. Don't get punched. I got punched. <laughs> we won. We won too quickly. I should have checked. My units were too strong here. But that's not my plan. My plan is to keep going with the losing streak. Well, now we're here. Might as well do this. The Joranger is going to replace the Shadow Demon. Well, we do want to have this because of Apache. Nothing too special. And then we can take this one. Yeah, this should be okay. Get the Shadow, the shadow Fiend down as well. Six warriors. Usually, you want to build the three warriors with warlocks first, then you go feel you go forward. You can even uh, go with the chores and you know more additional of units, or you can go with a bit of savage. Usually, you only get six warriors if you have the troll wallet. I think that's really good. But if you find that other units early enough, it's okay as well. But don't go warriors right away though. If you go only warriors, you don't do enough damage. No, oh, that's did a lot though. We'll level up now. Plus side is we'll have more HP. Downside is, well, <laughs> we don't have more economy and we don't have more two stars. It's okay. I know I kind of wish I had a wish doctor, but it's okay. Which alliance is most OP? Game seems pretty balanced. Yes, game's pretty balanced. I do find it that in a late game, the good stuff is the strongest. If you get level 9, level 10 quickly, get any of the 2-star troll wallout, Medusa, Disruptor, those things can be very powerful. So it's like a good stuff build. But other than that, I think Scrappies are pretty okay if they're not heavily contested. So are the Knights. Yeah, back in the days when Shadow is king, he's still very strong. Look at his heal, look at his damage. One star, by the way. How about one Shadow Shaman? I think that would shock that to be honest. But I sold them for one gold. I'll never find a Wish Shock there again. Wish Shock there is the best with the troll out, just with two of them. Four is too much. Your knights are strong. If they're three knights, then you are too contested. 
but scrappy as well. If there's two or less scrappies, they're still very strong. With this build, and the 6 won't give us heal, June won't give us much heal. The biggest heal is actually ammo. We use the support ammo, support and the 6. Those are the best heals actually. So I'll go with him. Oh, we shocked the game, we're so happy. <laughs> oh boy. This is a moment you'll be like, welcome back, doctor. Oh, doctor, my doctor. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. I don't need to draw anymore. I don't think I'll force the hardest, and she is not gonna be that strong. I go for the trolls. Yeah. Notice my mid game is very solid because we lost a few times, we got more losing streak, and this gives us more two stars. I'm curious to hear what you would want to see. Oh, let's see. Looking towards the hero changes, item changes. I'm curious to see the PvE. I want PvE to be very challenging. And I want, you know, if you play Hearthstone before, they have really good PvEs. And some of them you can pay for, others are free. Those are really good. Makes the game very fun as well. Hey there, Lyra. Welcome, buddy. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, my friend. Yeah, the big patch will come. Yeah, City Crawler. That's what I'm looking for. I love going in some challenge modes. Yeah, it's City Crawler. I like the challenge and I'll be posting all of those first on YouTube for sure. You know, different ways to beat it, different methods, the different underlords that can beat it. So we check the number of kills. Five kills is the highest. That means Midas is good. Rarely do we pick anything but Midas at this stage because we have Savage that wants to attack faster. Menno usually gets the kills once he gets, you know, 300 damage. Really good. But I think it's okay. For this one, we'll have a few choices. The biggest benefit to the team will be Heartless because most of my units are 2 star. And this helps the whole team hits about 20% harder for minus 4 armor. Other than that, we can go with the Warlock, then we can go with the Chores. We could try that. We could go with the 2 Chores, but they are 1 star. Ammo's great though. But you have him in the middle. He heals us, he steals items, makes us stronger. Shut up, what a healer. <laughs> yeah. Don't mess around with the six warriors, they're very powerful. Even three of them, just they just don't die. <laughs> but just 21 armor, guys. Now, Shark says, don't know how realistic it is, but I was thinking about the possibility for a game mode where each player drafts heroes to fill the pool that. Oh, that's, that'll be interesting. I think I like that. That'll be actually really fun. That'll be actually pretty interesting for sure. Okay, to we'll get the Shadow Shaman. I mean, this is still better than what I can get, what I can master. Pull the curve to the side a little bit, allows for focus fire. I will level up again. This is when we can switch something else for the trolls because we do have a two-star troll. And this allows me to go to with the druid as well because I'm leveling so fast. Because I'm le leveling so fast. Sorry guys, speaking a little too quick today. <laughs> for some reason, why am I speaking so fast, right? Patch is very under underrated because back in the days, Patch used to be the golden ticket with small HP, 5.5k. Nowadays, people don't use him as much, but his hook is very deadly. Usually he kills the Underlord or kills the Backline Sniper, which is very good. If we do get this guy, we'll get the Trolls. No one got the Shadow. I'll get the Shadow Demon later. Unfortunately, it's not a Heartless and a Warlock. It's a healer though, <laughs> which we don't need. With Shadow Shaman, we do want to get a Druid, and by leveling this fast, we have a high rate of finding a Long Druid very quickly. So most people are level 6, and we do see one level 7. Ammo is generally strong, very deadly, because of the stun, that makes him really good. Uh, I'm totally nice. Oh, Blink Brumada is annoying. A uh, baby stack though. Shadowfin is not healing. He's not healing. The coconut keeps hitting him. He healed. <laughs> it worked, guys. The poor Shadow Shaman blocked for dear life there. Ammo's gonna get stronger. <laughs> Don't know why he's got blink, but let's hope he works. Plus, he's gonna one punch them. 
Oh, he stole my Midas. I stole his blink. <laughs> no, we lost. We lost. We had a, we had a chance, but then, you know. <laughs> bad turn off events. We actually lost the win streak as well. Not good. Because I was going to steamroll people with that economy. Ah, I was going to do good. Uh, Shadow Demon. What could we could have done better? Hmm. Not towards the corner, I reckon. This might be better. Not defensive. Hey there, Maverick. Welcome, welcome, buddy. Thank you for joining me. Hey, this stream looks pretty fancy with a jacket. We're going for a six warrior build here. We're going for six warriors and four warlocks for the ultimate defense and offense. I don't think he's like waving his arms so slowly. Popped him into gold, perfect. Yeah, if they can't break the front line, it's hard for them to beat us. Last time the assassins killed the back line as well. Beautiful. Shadow Demon. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, two star Shadow Demon is worth it. We don't really need the Shadow Demon, but as a demon and as a Heartless, he does amplify the damage by a little bit. We can have up this run. All those three are optional. We don't need any three stars for this build. And I think we might take the Esprit because we need six warriors. We won't be getting tiny and camp soon enough. That's a problem. Oh, Patrick is so sad. <laughs> He's so sad. <laughs> He's not even looking. He's looking away from him now. He's like, no, I don't want to. I don't want to face you guys. Oh, we got him. So like, that's right, Hogan. <laughs> Poor Patch. I rushed level because I had an economy. Next round, at least eleven gold, so I can sell one unit for additional gold for thirty. And at this moment, we have the highest trouble rate. Yeah, people are level 6. <laughs> Powerful economy here. Mages? Mm, no mage. Go for Silver Edge. Give the Shadow Bean. Shadow Bean's made of butter. With Silver Edge plus 300 HP, he's, he's 670. <laughs> it's like. Actually, no, he, he's more, right? What? It doesn't show that he's got more. What? I wonder why. Wait, Shadow Edge does, doesn't give HP anymore? Or Silver Edge? I'm not sure. <laughs> Watch, I'll find out. It's okay. For this one, I have to break the economy. It only adds when the round starts. I see, I see. You're right, my friend. Yep, it adds when the round starts. Absolutely right. I was just gonna say that. I think it adds when the round starts. So this way. When ammo steals the item, oh, he stole a silver edge. <laughs> when ammo steals the item, the units actually don't benefit from the item. I think they adjusted for the ammo so he can steal items and units don't benefit anymore. We actually manhandled him. What I could have done there is sell everything here for gold. Yeah, they want to adjust so ammo actually can steal items so you don't benefit from items. But this way, when ammo takes an item, all the stats are lost here on the unit. Who's got the higher range? Mano has three cells, Shadow the Demon's Oh, let's go with this one. No, maybe safer here. I need Vano to survive. Ooh, a Lich. You know what? I'll take the Lich. It's actually better for Shadow Demon, to be honest. Shall we go with Stark? Well, not really a good build if we go with a Stark, right? My goal is to. Get the trouble on and disruptor. This is definitely optional. So yes, it's harder to get the warriors compared to the warlocks. It's easier to get four warlocks here. Would you all look into that? Because we're eight. Shadow Demon is a little better for the and then the in terms of auto attack damage, not as good as the magic damage. Though. Poor ammo is <laughs> stuck in the corner, but he heals though. Oh, got a Mitis! Smart little guy. He's still spinning. Oh, 
Very proper. Shadow Demon also give us more demon powers for Shadow Fiend to do more damage. It does do the most. I'm bucked this way because they are assassins. And that's the one that broke my win streak, I think. Also the broom mother. Blink trolls. Nothing great. Uh, should I just go to level 9? Yeah, let's go to level 9. Because I'm not running for 3 stars. I don't roll at level 8 if I have enough HP. If I'm going for 3 stars, I will roll at level 8. That's the best time for roll for ace and also 3 stars. But if I'm just going for high tier units, like the Alchemist, Troll Warlord, Med Medusa, or maybe the Disruptor, better to level up. Every gold spent at level 9 is 4 gold at level 8 spent to roll for the ace units. Now Warlock did not have a good time. <laughs> Patch hooked him, then shut off and cast in his face. <laughs> if you play Dota 2, you know how much that hits. It's like a wild shut off appears with the uh, Silver Edge. And that's not nice. So, who are we going to contest? We're going to contest with a Troll Assassin, and an Assassin with Spirits, and a Hunter, Double Knights, and a Warlock. Should be okay. Hmm, what can I up this round? Let's do that. Oh no, I miscounted. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a good thing. I don't need a ditch anymore, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't need a ditch anymore. Ah, E doesn't work. I was pressing E and nothing was happening. Not all a glory I got Disruptor. Just for the four locks. We usually get four locks before the six warriors. Yeah, six warriors and four locks. Still to go. I think I lose a bit of damage by losing Shadow Demon, to be honest. And Assassin's counter the warlocks. Oh, I got the stone now. Also, protect ourselves from the spirits. Any suggestion for positioning when you're melee heroes? Uh, six warriors, you do spread out. Or you actually it depends if you want to go offensive or defensive. Here, I went for defensive, so my warlocks can heal us. If I go for offensive, I actually spread them out evenly and make sure the warlocks are spread out as well. <laughs> hey, good play, Wild well, well, Comedy. Hmm. I can never. I really want the Disruptor. The, the, I want the Shadow Demon, not the Disruptor. This is fine. I don't think I'm affording that patch, to be honest, guys. There you go. So I'm looking at two more warriors. Tiny is not gonna come anytime soon. So Troll and Kanka are the ones we want. <laughs> yeah, six warriors need to start Troll. And because I don't think I got to start Troll that early, I have Shadow Demon, Shadow Thing, and Vano as my source of damage. So frontline, damage, <laughs> utility. That's the stack, that's the assassins, guys. That's the player that got me last time. Shadow Vee, he's like casting ever so slowly. <laughs> the Shadow Demon silences him. He's like, I'll do it again next time. He's casting, he casted, everything died. Yeah, two that troll will make this build so strong. People can't deal with the troll. And that's one of the reasons I'm actually doubling quickly for the troll a lot. Level 8, level 9, ooh, level 9. Level 7, 8, 8, level 9 already. Level 9 player is going for Warriors, Knights. <laughs> that's. Gonna be a little weak on damage. Butterfree tiny. <laughs> Too cute. Butterfly is really good on troll lot. Don't need those. Medusa can use the diffuser. Uh Shadow Vin. Yeah, could be the Shadow Vin. Troll Lord. Nope. Elki is pretty good. Elki is definitely good. I'll take Elki. I don't think I need to scale that badly. I still want the Savage, so I'm actually going to lose the Disruptor here. I don't think we're getting that much from the Disruptor. The Ace of Disruptor give us another second, and well, we already have enough seconds, I think. That's always a little weak. No, that is not worth it. I agree. It's a little weak. I really like Alchemist. Minus Armor is so strong here. He's like a one-man heartless thing. Like, look at that Tusk healed. <laughs> 
That's how you'll be fine. And we'll just take any items. Look at his alchemist! How much did he tank? So, go, let's have a look. Sample time. Damage shut off indeed 6.7k. DPS is pretty high. Damage taken. Tusk took the highest, followed by Alchemist. Healing. Shut off and heal the most, followed by Alchemist. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky with the troll. Other times you wait for a long time. I definitely agree. That's a hard part. Shut up up. Well, no, at this rate it's better to roll, I reckon. Leveling up does give me higher rates. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Because I have HP. That's the biggest factor. Because I have 70 HP, I can level up. If I don't have much HP, like 50 or 40, I'll roll at level 9. For sure. It's very expensive to go to level, level 10 here. But round 23 is usually the earliest round to go to level 10. I do have scale, so the queen didn't do much. Shut off in cards and everything disappears. And because I'm in the corner, the the triangle with the spirits can't catch us. Everyone's a physical team. Warriors, assassins and trolls are physical. So my warriors will counter everything. It's a night warrior. I'm a little concerned I won't find the spirit though. Should be fine. Don't need us anymore. Clever when the round starts, perfect. Yeah, they're not gonna have a good time <laughs> the moment we get the troll warlord. Because I can lose the Shadow Shaman. I can also get all my warriors in with Kanka. Shadow Demon's no bad, but well, you see, if he was a warlock that'd be perfect. <laughs> but no, <laughs> that's too much, right? Double queen. I'm almost fine there. He can stun after. Yeah, they can't get in, and then we're fine. Stark have a basher, just think. <laughs> we stole his basher. I'm gonna steal his item now, nah, this, this is a better one. Chunk off damage. We now get the disrupt in, which very soon will remove a warlock. Because right now I have a bunch of them. Too much. You can take this one. We'll try to remove I'll take away Venomancer, I'll take away Shadow Demon for the Warriors. Wow. It's pretty nice. Not the ones I wanted. Kanka's good. I think they should survive by the time I have my full build. But they might not. So Shadow Demon and... Shadow Demon and Shadow Shaman goes, and also lose the Venomancer for the six warriors. Usually at this stage you're flexible. If you're playing a game you don't build for the six warriors, you can actually take a lot of ace units like Medusa there, and you can consider the Lich for the hardest. Because now at level 10 you have the highest rate for those things, and you'll be very strong. Ooh, this will be tricky. Shadow. Ooh, that heal. That's a good triangle. Oh, well, he might have us. Yeah, I thought that I had this. <laughs> Making me work out for it. Look at the Shadow Vina. That butterfly is no joke. Damn. Crush 6 Warriors to make game. Uh, yeah, the armor helps, but the downside is if you don't have enough 2 stars for Warriors, they might. Oh, I forgot the Kanka. Oof. Silly me. <laughs> Too much talking. I'm sorry, guys. Too much talking. Ah, here we go. So, it's time for change around. I'll just do it. There we go. That's what I wanted. <laughs> but yeah, Mr. Kanka. My fault. Very standard. I'll prefer Tiny over Tusk for now. Because Tiny throws and Tusk doesn't do anything anymore. He just punches. Okay, here's the build, guys. We're missing a bit of the two stars, of course. So we're missing five two stars. Which should come. Oh. Not Hogan, though. Yeah, the moment they disrupt that cast, everyone heals up to full. 
Oh, close to full. There's a big disruptor with two star. We won? <laughs> we double killed them. I just saw. So we did lost 16 and 15 damage. So, yes, we got both of them. What happened here was we raced for level 10 pretty fast, and he did race for level 10. But if you compare the units, my units scaled much further. And the biggest source of damage in the early games was Melomancer with Tusk, Shadow Fiend, and also just the initial burst of the tank resistance and also having scaled and warriors. Ammo did heal up, up the team with Warlocks, which really helps us. And you can see that right after I got my pretty much seven or six losses, I went for the win streak. We got two almost back to back win streaks. And this build works in ranked, also in normal. If you get your warriors fast enough to two star, this gives you the mid game, which you don't have to roll anymore in the mid game. You get to the end game around round 23 and you get all your high tier units. That's how you get stronger. So yeah, luckily we got the six warriors out and with the warlocks, we just heal so much more. Once we get everything to start, I don't think anything can stop us against us. Mages can have a challenge to us, that's when we keep the Venomancer or we get in the Medusa. 